I would like to uh, say hello to Giorgio Pisenza, our special guest from Peru, and my very, 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 very good friend. Ivan Niska, da kaže prvo specialno zdravej. Na Giorgio Pisenza. Giorgio Pisenza. Okay. Dobre. Um, so, uh, hi Ivan, how, how, how is everybody doing today? Zdravite, kak ste vsečki? Uh, uh, I hope everybody is okay and I apologize for these technical issues in the beginning. <laughs> that will be super cool with all these uh, translations. Inter anyway. Malko vrskata Vrskata prekasva od tvoje strane, Ivan. Ok, anyway. Um, Giorgio, uh, we have here in this meeting people from Bulgaria. Oh, anyway, I'm going to speak in English and if Janko catch something, he will translate in Bulgaria. Um, Giorgio, we have uh, people from Bulgaria. They, uh, they knew about you because in the previous video I've done, I, um, I make some short presentation about you. But um, first of all, can you, can you say something about yourself, from yourself? Yeah. I'm not a major well-known researcher. I am uh, I, I, I'm just like you guys. I'm, I just have more time perhaps than most people to research different things that have to do with a phenomenon, the UFO phenomenon, but it connects with all kinds of things, physics, consciousness, history, etc. And I have been doing George, this for 47 years. Giorgio, on the moment, uh, he will translate. Giorgio, she says a little bit about herself. He says that he's not very different from us, but he has a lot more attention for the search in the sphere in which we are interested in the moment. For the Ne, za neizvesno to. Ok, go ahead, Giorgio. And uh, I don't know what you want to hear about, but uh, I was thinking of sharing maybe some visuals so I can relate. You can, you can hear the history behind these things and make it more entertaining. <laughs> Той желая да сподели с нас някои снимки и с това да свържи тези събития, да обясни и да стане по-интересно. So, is, is the idea, Ivan, that I uh, share about uh, what I do, basically, what I have learned? So, is that, is that it? it? I mean, a little bit with uh, information about you, why you have interest about this. Uh, but basically, people waiting to hear more about the mummies. Oh, the mummies. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Specialno хората искат да знаят повече за мумиите. Но сега ще стане ясно. Well, I, I, I try to research the UFO phenomenon comprehensively. Um... I have uh, be, be, befriended. I am a friend. I've been, been been a friend of many contactees. I also had some experiences myself. My family to also. Той се опитал да проучи феномена UFO с като цялостна аспект и trying to understand the different aspects for for example here 
Опитва се да разбера отделни аспекти. Например, тази снимка. UFOs that were photographed in Puerto Rico. Фотография от Порто Рико. Анализирахме някои от тези снимки. Доналд Селвинг. Доналд Селвинг бил имидж консултант за НАСА. Доналд Селвинг е бил консултант на НАСА. И той бачкали said that they were real pictures, no, no, no tricks, no fakery, nothing. And the original, Той... the original photographs were in Polaroid, okay? Той потвърдил автичността на снимките и са реални. Последната снимка е от Polaroid. So when, when I, I was researching this case, this particular case, In Puerto Rico, it was a very poor man. It was a very poor man who was a fisherman. Very, very, no, bad and trick, rebarin, who was talking about a certain case that he was following. And I tried to understand not only if the UFOs are real, but What they say to him, why they contact him, this was more more important for me. Той не е само искал да да знае дали са истински, но и точно каква целта им, защо се свързват с нас. In in the in this case, his name was Jose Fernandez, and. Jose Fernandez. Името на рибаря Jose Fernandez. He was allegedly, he said that he was being contacted by beings from Orion, somewhere in Orion, there were warriors. Not loving, no, warriors. Той е бил влезен в контакт с същества от съзвездието Орион и те били войствено настроени. Да, и вариори, защото не е да дефендат Ерсто от други бъдени. И това е това, което ги казаха. И той е също много като вариори, така че това е това. It, the personalities were very similar. Те били войни не за друга, защото трябва да защитават планетата Земя. И той по същност и той бил такъв воен. Yes. Other other contact for uh friends I have in Peru. Like a contact от приятел. Like Sixto Pass. Sixto Pass. Six to pass the image of a man. It's a contactee. Six to pass, it's a cousin. What they try to tell to the people is that we can be better humans. We can evolve. We can be better and join the cosmic community. They are giving information на нас, че можем да сме по-добри същества и да влезнем в контакт и да съществуваме в свят, в който комуникираме с тях. So, they contact anybody that want to join the group and we go camping to the desert. You see, they're very normal people. Very simple people. We go walking into the desert. Normal people, who have decided to have their life, and who are camping in the desert, where they can meditate and make such a contact. Yeah. So it's completely different from what my friend Jose 
in Puerto Rico is uh, living. It's a different group of extraterrestrials. Друга група от извънземни, с които са влезнали в контакт. Различни от тези на Хосе и Рибария. So what, I think that it is a very complex uh, cosmic community and different beings, different extraterrestrial beings have different ro roles, different activities with humanity. This is one of the, this is how some of them uh, look. Много различни групи от извънземни с различни задачи. И това е един от тях, който е изобразен. Да, това е много толкова бъде, 2 метра 70 толкова. 20 км се висок, много високи. Да, това е вибрация, но те са физика. But their vibration energy is higher. So if we want to contact and they want to contact, we have to prepare. Те са на по-високо вибрационно ниво, повече енергия и имат голямото желание да влезнат в контакт с нас, но ние трябва да го пожелаем, ние трябва да си повдигнем нивото на тяхното. Yes. And uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, this group of extraterrestrials, they also work with these uh, priests that live inside uh, the ground in, in uh, small cities in the jungle, for example. Това е група, друга група от извънземни, които използват този като... Свещеник. Свещеник, да, свещено лице, което влиза в контакт. И живеят на земята. И живеят на земята. В джунглата. These beings are said to represent humanity in the cosmos because we are too immature to come together as a brother, as a single species and represent ourselves in the cosmos. So they represent us They represent the Earth for the time being, temporarily. Тези свещеници представляват пред извънземници като наши представители. Yes, and they are they are called stekna manes. This type of priest, stekna manes. Stekna manes е тяхното име. The name of this. Order of priests. И, и те, само да допълня, и те представляват човечеството пред извънземните, защото ние, ние сме твърде малки, за да се представим сами. хибриди между човек и извънземни. Uh, one moment, one Go moment. On. Kalyan uh, looks like he, he would like to say something. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, sorry, I didn't know if you can hear me or not. So my question is, who give authority to this priest to represent the human civilization, even if we don't know about their existence? It's a very long story. Oh, It's a very long story. Uh, one moment, Georgia. Kaluyan uh, pita, как така те ще ни представляват след като те не ни познават? И Georgia казва, това е много дълга история, за да се обясни. Go ahead, Georgia. Well, um, they are supposed to be descendants from uh, another civilization that existed before in planet Earth. And they, they escaped a destruction that happened back then. And they, they hid, they hid themselves in these underground facilities in Mongolia, Peru, 
in many different places. In Honduras, there's a place in the Antarctic, underground facilities. One moment. Те са продължение на изчезнала човешка цивилизация, която са укрили от катастрофа, която се е случила, унищожение и са продължили тяхното еволюционно развитие до наши дни, така че да успеят да представляват земята. И допълвам, Джорджо каза също така, че те живеят на... могат да бъдат намерени, т.е. не че могат да бъдат намерени, но живеят на различни места по земята. Това число в Монголия, в Хондорас, може би в България. Go ahead, Georgia. Yeah, different places. For example, this map. Okay, this map of uh, South America shows some possible connections underground between different uh, underground cities, underground citad, actually citadels. They're smaller than, than a city. One this moment. Yeah. One moment. За пример, това са а, някои карта, за, за където могат да се укриват в подземни а, галерии в а, Южна Америка. And many of my uh, friends, um, it's not only one person say that I, they had contact with this, but several friends Много have хора seen... от моите приятели говорят за това. Те дори met... някои от тях са ги виждали have met physically this uh, particular person in different parts. He's an Estekna Manes. Now, who gave them the right to represent the earth? That's a very strange, uh, that's a very difficult thing to, to answer because um, apparently, according to the extraterrestrials that, that uh, we were having contact with in Peru, uh -huh, through different uh, uh, telepathic and the psychographic contact, uh -huh, contactees, um, the Earth was supposed to be a place where a new form of uh, intelligent life would show other parts, other civilizations in the cosmos a better way of living. Това е друга форма за за получаване на информация на същества, които живеят там в космоса. But there was interference there was interference for and, and mistakes. Interference not just from negative type of uh, beings, but also mistakes uh, regarding uh, having con open contact with uh, humanity in the past. Те са имали лоши спомени и впечатления от контакт, който са имали с хората в миналото. And, um, and humanity became dependent on the, uh, some extraterrestrial beings and they lost the connection of, with their own way of evolution. And now, According to these uh, extra extraterrestrial beings, there is, uh, there is a council, a council in the galaxy that supervises different evolutionary processes in planets like, uh, like the Earth. And they decided to uh, they decided to ma maintain, to keep 
the Earth experiment, the Earth human experiment. Те са решили да продължат този експеримент с човешката цивилизация. To continue. За да продължи тя. Аха. Rather than eradicate it. And the, then they, they chose these individuals that had a very high level of understanding. И те група от хора, които имат високо ниво на вибрация. Affinity with the Galactic Council. Infinity? Affinity. Имат афинитет. Хора, които имат афинитет към това да се случи. Тези същества живеят под земята, някои хора. Some people call them the white brotherhood. Някои хора ги наричат бялото братство. Some people call them the white brotherhood in the theosophical traditions. Това е някаква философска традиция. But even indigenous populations, like in the Amazon jungle, they know about them. В амазонската джунгла хората знаят за тези, за това бяло братство. Джорджа, one moment, I would like to add something. We have... In the beginning of, no, in the beginning. Anyway, we have in we have in Bulgaria white brotherhood. It's like philosophical community, and that community was established from Benito Benisa Beniso Benito Dano Benisa Dano Benisa Dano. And I mean, he passed away. He was a very kind person, very spiritual man. And now um, the White Brotherhood, the members of the White Brotherhood, actually, they're uh, from all over the world. And they gather in Bulgaria and the first day of the spring in the mountain of Rila, uh, they make a circle. They uh, walking in the circle and they It's a dance. singing and um, Actually, I'm not very familiar with this uh, uh, tradition, but yeah, I just want to add about this. It's a, it's a very uh, uh, designed, very well dance, uh, panevritmia, it's name, call it. Okay. Which, uh, uh, people, uh, men and women, they dance uh, two by uh -huh. two in, uh, in the circle. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe they are related to to this white brotherhood uh, and to Nicholas and to Nicholas Rarich from Russia. Nicholas Rarich, the artist. Nikolai Rarich. Uh -huh, Nikolai Rarich that went to, to the Altai mountains in an expedition. Which mountain? Altai. Altai. Ah, okay. So uh, Nikolai Rarich is going on an expedition in the planet of Altai. Yes. And and uh, and this and these beings, these beings also work in uh, Lake Titicaca in Bolivia. Yes, they. Ha I have a friend, and I was there many times. That has uh, open um, center to prepare for contact and also they were working there and they were doing something as a center for open contact with them to communicate with these beings to talk with these beings and eventually represent the earth and eventually they want to represent the earth yes, they want humanity to represent the earth which they call it surface humanity of the surface of the earth and they want us to represent the earth in the galactic councils и по време на тази среща е станало ясно че те са искали ние да представляваме земята в този галактически съвет you are welcome to come to this center it's not a secret you just have to go to bolivia center и това не е някаква тайна And when when they have these meetings in Bolivia, yeah, 
Yeah. It, it is open to everybody with a good will to work for humanity Всички as one. Добре дошли, uh, с, uh, добри намерения, с една цел. As one species of frater, fraternal species. So about to meet with the one extraterrestrial person or what do you mean? No, no, no. To prepare with the white brotherhood living inside Lake Titicaca. The white brotherhood lives inside facilities, inside the crust of the earth. Okay. Тези, това, бя, това бяло братство живее под земята. Under the lake of Titicaca. Yeah, in, but inside the lake there is a rock, right? Inside oh. the rock and the crust of the earth, the earth's crust. Okay. That's where they live. They have facilities. They have a yeah so that that is one of the efforts of contact in Latin America that is very important hundreds of people contacted in Latin America yeah hundreds of people have had a UFO sightings and passing through the dimension yes и преминаване през uh, измеренията. I know two persons Познавам that went човека, by invitation inside, walking inside, downstairs. Канени да влязат вътре. This uh, facility inside, да, this city това inside. Това място, този център. Physically. Физически са влезли. Yeah. And uh, it's very clear. Uh, just, just one moment, we have a question from Kaloyan. Do they mm -hmm. did they bring some proofs that they were there in these facilities? Something? Anything? No. Nothing. Only 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 <laughs> the transformation of the personality and uh, Единственото, което uh, се е случило е трансформацията на хората, които са влязли вътре. The sincerity of the phenomenon, they don't make uh, money exploiting people. I mean, it's, it seems to be real. Те не, те не, правят, те не правят пари от тези неща. Uh, What they have is uh, uh, UFO pictures. UFO pictures. На, на Many. Емота, ако това може да е доказателство. Yeah, but do they have any pictures from the inside the facility, the compartments, anything? No, no, no. no. The level of evidence that uh, these beings give is very circumstantial, flimsy, occasional, varies for some uh, reason. We need to find out why they don't give uh, enough evidence. Uh, по някаква причина те не ни дават такива физически доказателства, които ние търсим. But um, they give evidence of the spaceships and sometimes or sometimes of the physical contact. Uh, по някаква те дават някакъв вид доказателство за енелото. Wow, what is that? This is my friend Jose Fernandez. When he, was, Jose Fernandez when he was being taken physically to be aboard the ship. <laughs> is and that real? Twice yes, real. because that, I inter I interviewed six witnesses. As uh interviews as six chuvika quit sugunabludown. So sometimes we give enough evidence. To some people. Понякога има сериозна доказателства, като това. But not to the entire world. Но това не е за всички. So, even if you have these pictures, дори да имате тази снимка, the, the entire world does not care. I showed this a few times already Света, in different conferences. Сега е грижа, нали, че имате тази снимка. Какво е това? Yeah. And... Uh, They're very nice, they're spectacular, but it only makes you 
excited for a moment and then Ito na yung attractive mo, no? Click out, ba? Yeah, this little man is being taken up. Ito yung stili chuvek udal do klon chitu kak se kak go vzemat fizicic. And um, I'm trying to, this is the Puerto Rican case, which uh, is different. Puerto Rico. Georgia, you mute your microphone. Oh, it muted itself by itself, <laughs> by itself. Anyhow. Uh, uh, Georgia, one moment. We have a question from Costas from Greece. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Uh, от кое измерение са тези които са свърза той? Кой той? Човека, където говори той. Той разказва случаи от Пуерто Рико за негови приятели, които са имали контакт, а не той лично. Ага, окей. Go ahead, Georgia. That also the Puerto Rican case to, uh, uh, contacting the military extraterrestrial. Uh, also, he speaks about uh, spiritual councils, spiritual and uh, government council in, in the galaxy. Vuenity of Puerto Rico says to say, Emily, Dosta Contacti. Georgia, can you? Uh... Can you specify which person exactly had this? Jose Maria Fernandez Jose Martinez. Maria Fernandez Martinez, Puerto, uh, Puerto Rico. Yes, and it, 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 the Lake Titicaca contact people, this is different. Another. It is they the, also have. What was it? Тези хора от тезерото Титикака, за които говорих, те са съвсем друга група от контактьори. Go ahead. They also have very good evidence, videos. Те също имат много добри доказателства. And this interaction is both with extraterrestrials and with these underground spiritual beings that... Тези контакти са не само с извънземни, но и с тези, които живеят по тези ротути ти кака. Джорджо, what kind was that picture you showed a few seconds ago? Боливия. Това е от Боливия. Боливия, my contactee friend. Негов приятел контактиор от Боливия. Луис Фернандо Мостахо. Това е името на човека. Луис Фернандо Мостахо. He took that picture, right? Yeah. From his house. Този неговият приятел е направил снимчето от неговият дом. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Това нещо, да. This is from his house. And he is the person that... Неговият дом и той е човека, който... He's one of the persons that walked inside the Lake Titicaca. И той е един от тези, които е влизал в в това подземие под езерото Титикак. Would you like to introduce me to that person, Georgia? Oh, sure, of course, no problem, yeah. Where he live? Where he live? He lives in La Paz, Bolivia. Ah, Bolivia, okay. I mean, I'll need your help because I don't know Spanish or maybe we can speak telepathy. No, he's a normal person. He's an architect. He works, he has a very... A nice house. That from the house you can see all the mountains. It's very, very yeah. uh, convenient. As for Peter George, Dali, she suggested that me zapoznaya sa stozi ni uf priatel. To je kaza dar zbira se. To je sasem normalen čovek. Ni uf te profe. To je arhitekt po profesija. Yeah. So, what else do you want to talk about? За какво друго искате да говорим? Веско, ти имаш ли някакви въпроси до този момент? О, Калуян има въпрос. Yeah, hello. You can see me now. Yeah. So I have another question. Аз имам въпрос. With all these findings that you have with your contacty group, всичко това, което имаш от твоите приятели, контактьори, 
all this evidence, all this video and photo materials. You try to talk with the press, with the media. Опитвал се да говориш с пресата, publicity about this, for the people to know, to be aware of this kind of things. Да, ам разкажеш всички тези неща, така че те да бъдат запознати. If I have tried to talk, we have tried to talk to the media. If you have tried to talk to the media, I mean to spread the information for the majority of the people. Yes, we have, and we yeah. Sometimes, sometimes the media is receptive. Да, някога медиите са много отворени за това. Yeah, it's it's good for the rating. Те са окей да пишат за това. Yeah. If you go too deep, the philosophically, the boku philosophsky, the ratings may go down. The rating game spada. But if you show, oh, we had contacts, and this being is two meters, three seventy. Oh, for example, yeah, we didn't have contacts. The ratings go up. So it's. Yes, there has been some uh, reception, but it is yeah, very uh, similar to other countries. People no, that want to show, uh, show like they're very serious, professional people. They okay, don't want Georgia. to be associated uh, with UFOs usually. Okay, so if I... Yanko, you can bring this here. Giorgio, I would like to ask you, I'm not very sure if you've been with Ricardo Gonzalez in the same mission in Chilca when they was gathered more of 120 people. In Chilca? Uh, one second. Go. Ivan Peter, Dali, Giorgio has contact with Ricardo Gonzalez when we had a big gathering. Uh, during this meet, during this meditation, I think I believe it was in Chilka, but I'm not sure. Chilka is the desert. Yeah, yeah, I know Ricardo. But Ooh. during during this, to, just to make clear, during this uh, uh, huge meditation of one hundred and more people, yeah, uh, more of one hundred people, uh, Ricardo says that there was. Uh, between all these people was uh, uh, journalists, scientists, military people, um, just regular people. Have you been yeah. in that in this uh, um, huge meditation or not? Yeah. Ricardo. Yes, I have. По питах Джордж дали той е бил по време на тази голяма медитация в Чулка, където според Рикардо Гонзалес е имало много журналисти, военни, учени и обикновени хора. Той каза да. And what happened? Can you, with few words, can you explain? There have been many, many times in which he called the press and there was... Много често той кани медиите на тези медитации. And some scientists, and yeah, yeah. I, maybe the the place you are talking about is in Atacama. Atacama. Uh, Atacama is in Chile, I think. Is that in Chile? Yes, it used to be from Peru, but after the war, they took this. Now it's now it's in Chile. Yes, now it's in Chile. Yeah, okay. and. Um, Yes, I saw this craft pulsating 100. Pulsating 104 times. Yes, and there were many cameramen and some of them filmed it. Yeah, I think his contacts are absolutely real. And contacts are 100% real. I also was with him in in Peru, in Peru, in the mountains, and we we saw UFO in Markawasi. Yes, and also in in Mount Shasta, Mount Shasta, California. Actually, Mount Shasta, it was a oval. I mean, disc shape. 
Classical UFO. Видяхме в над планината Шаста такъв класически вид на Енело. Стейбл. Стейбл. Не е лайт пулсейтин, но... Нямаше никакви пресвяткани, само солидна... More solid, more много, solid looking. Uh -huh. About one kilometer, maybe seven hundred meters. Maybe seven hundred meters. Away. I was five minutes more or less stable. Yeah. Uh, so we saw that after, after he received the telepathic Transmission. And he announced this event in, in the TV news. What TV? Uh, Argentina, I think Channel 2, Argentina. If nothing had happened, He would be he would look terrible. <laughs> But it happened. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think he's real. He's real. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, would you like Georgia to uh, to move to to uh, mummies of Na uh, the mummies from Nazca? Oh, okay. Well, the question is, that Georgia is going to tell us about the mummies from Nazca. The Nazca mummies. Mummies of Nazca. Um, as far as we know, some are real. Most likely. I, I, I cannot say 100%, but I can say 80% they seem to be real. Others are fake, fake, false. The fake were made to get the law, the police, out of the shoulders, out of the shoulders of the uh, vaqueros, which are the great thieves, the, the thieves, okay? These are the ones who... The ones who are trying to get 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 Yes, these mummies were found uh, illegally са намерени в едно археологично място, където археологите правят разкопки. Но реалните са уникални характеристики. Истинските имат много ясна характеристика. Например, това е тази торсо. Of one of them. It is a small, small being, 60 centimeter long. <laughs> the teguments or flesh parts are connected. And it uh, so it, it, it is very difficult. It would be very difficult to make a cut and paste the parts, the, the parts of a dr dry mummies. Because the, how would you connect the, the, the flesh between the bones? How could you do the flesh between the bones? If you do a fake mummy, как можеш да направиш да ги съединиш така, че плътта да не е разкъсана от коста? So we believe that this particular mummy only... Ние вярваме, че точно тази мумия... Only a few of them are real. Само някои от тях са истинни. This one has the connective tissue, is complete, 
the the body skeleton is functional could be could walk това е една малка част от плъти кости която uh, във времето когато съществото е било живо му е позволявало да ходи the, the most strange thing is this най странното uh, нещо е implant implant this metallic implant has, yeah, has a, a alliation of copper and gold and on top имат различни примеси като злато и други it also has something very strange because inside the metal странно че вътре в метала inside the metal there is another metal има друг метал Yes, and recently the University of Engineering in Peru. Скоро инженерната част от университета в Икре. They did they did a destructive uh, test drilling inside. Правили малка дупка за да вземат проба. They took a sample, and the sample seems to be something very strange. Os- osmium. Osmium? Osmium. И този и тази малка проба, която са взели от от дупката, която са направили. In, inside you can see like a like a different osmium. What kind exactly is this element osmium? I never heard about this. Well, I don't I don't know much about a But how they element. say that this is osmium if they don't know what is it? No, oh, you can detect osmium with um, what do you call this uh, spectrographic uh, spectrographic analysis of the sample. Spectrographic analysis, such as, shows this osmium. Yeah, so that is very strange. It's very uh, strange. Yeah, another thing is that the bone, the bones, the bones. What we do is the costity. Are very uh, hollow. They're more hollow than it's a in mammals. More than mammals. More hollow than the bones of the uh, mammals. This is no big novelty. Yeah, which is very strange, also like a reptile. Like reptilians. Reptilians and birds have very hollow bones like this. Uh, тези плечуги и птици имат uh, такива кости. Yeah. So this is under investigation. <coughs> the University of Ica has the Ica има has some of the good samples. Има много добри проби. Um, here is a more a larger mummy. Where is the The Maria. The, the Maria. The skull Cherubim. is larger than average. It's a seventeen hundred cubic centimeters at least, maybe seventeen hundred and fifty. Cherpa is not very big. It's a Where's okay. The so the 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 the, the feet have Krakata three fingers. Ima tri prsta. Yeah, although one, one of the fingers broke in the transportation. Yeah. Now, now it would be very difficult to walk with three long fingers. But the X-ray analysts found an uh, extra bone in the uh, heel, uh-huh. an extra bone. По време на тези снимки, как се казват, Наско, как се казват, какво? На петата има кости. Да, но той каза, той каза, той каза за тази снимка, как се казва, 
която има щупен нали, ти правят Аренгена. Аренгена, да. Аренгена. Да. Аренгена. Значи по време на Аренгеновата снимка са открили тази допълнителна кост, която е към петата. Yeah. So this is another photo of the same mummy on the side. Друга снимка от другата страна на момента. And I'm, I am trying to get the uh, physical genetic test. Питвам да 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 разбера повече за тези uh, генетични тестове. I'm trying to help the 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 professors in the uh, university. Да на, на професор от този университет. To work with with a good good geneticist so that they can take да some един много добър генетик, който да изследва този uh, and make a Georgia. Georgia, you're frozen. Ivan. Uh, you're frozen. Okay, go ahead now. Oh, I was frozen too. For a moment. Yeah, I was saying that uh, I'm trying to get a contact with a good geneticist and a good laboratory to test the, the, the genetic laboratory to make a complete genetic sequencing. И да се направи дълбока дълбок анализ. Генетичен тест. Генетичен анализ, да. Yeah, carefully, because there was one done about three, four years ago and There's doubts that it was done under the most careful conditions. Имаше съмнение дали всичко беше направено по най-добрия начин. One good thing is that the 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 the, the wakeros or the grave robbers, you know, the thieves, <laughs> they decided to bring some of the specimens for research. Um, so they they were not completely selfish or negative. Този човек, който донесе тези мумии, той е крадец на гробове. И не не сме not completely negative, not completely negative. И не и не сме не сме много сигурни че те не са фейк. Um, and that was like four years ago. Now, yeah, that was like four years ago. Now they they left with they gave the university uh, four or five specimens. I think it's five, but they only show four. Four or five specimens. Yeah. Questions? Any questions? Има ли въпроси за мумиите? This mummy is are they public knowledge? Yes. So everybody can go and uh, see them. They used to go, be able to go, but since... Калуян, uh, one moment. Калуян пита дали тези муми uh, са публично изложени, дали всеки може да отиде да ги види и сега Джорджо се опитва да обясни. Yeah, but now they are uh, protected by a chain and a, um, I don't know how to say this uh, paper that they put is a like a seal, security seal. I, I can explain that because I was there <laughs> with you. <laughs> Go ahead, please. Всъщност за тези муми Джорджо е приятел с професор Зенуга Зунига. Джорджо е замръзен отново. Uh, и... uh, okay. How was the name of the professor Zuniga? Roger. Roger Z- Zuniga? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Джорджо е приятел с uh, този професор Роджер uh, uh, Зуниga и uh, той uh, е говорил с него за мене че съм там и че искам да видя момиите. И а, понеже са правени опити за кражба на тези муми и човека 
не е бил много сигурен професора дали иска да, да, да ми ги покаже. Аз поканих професора на обяд заедно с Джорджо, а, ядохме риба <laughs> и а, професора беше много готин, такъв много готин човек и в крайна сметка, той като видя, че аз не съм крадец и а, нали, лош човек, реши нали, да, да ми даде достъп. Отидохме в, в, в университета в уречения час и стоим и чакаме, и чакаме, и чакаме. И аз питам, какво чакаме? И всъщност двама човека имат два различни ключа за тези муми. Нали, ако един е дойде, обаче чакаме другия. Защото без другия няма как да се отвори това място. И най-накрая другия човек се появи някакъв епонец. Заедно с охраната на, на този университет ме заведоха там, където се съхраняват мумити. И както Джорджо каза, имаше лист хартия с подписи, печати, вериги, отделно. Тези хора се сложиха ключовите, за да се отключи. Сякаш влизаш някакъв много секретен се. А, като влязохме най-накрая, и Джорджо вика, ето вижда си какво правят хората заради теб. Защото това е много сериозно секюрити нали, място. И както и да е, влязохме, те ме предупредиха да не снимам, после аз питах професора, той каза, че мога да снимам. Мумиите се намират в ини стъклени контейнери, покрити се с бял прах. Този бял прах всъщност е, така ги консервират. И снимките, които аз имам от тези муми, всъщност се вижда с този прах. И, и да, и после имах интервю с професора и това интервю някога ще бъде готово, за да се види и от вас. Go ahead, Джорджо. Okay. Here, here we can see another tomography. Тук може да видим една друга томография, снимка. Of, of the um, leg and the knee. На коляното и крака. Okay, of one of the small creatures. На това от малкото същество, което е 60 см. That might, may be a genuine, real, not a fake. И със сигурност можем да кажем, че това е истинско, не е манипулация, не е измисля. You can see, yeah. you, you can see the bone is very hollow. Виждате, че на коста е куха. Yeah. And you can see some tissue in the knee. Uh, и, и сигурно виждате малки uh, мускулчета на, на коляното. Oh, sorry. Това е чолояне. Никам да говори спокойно, да не се тревожи. А, той не се, той не се тревожи, той е готин. Само не знае защо Симан изчезна и не се появи. Окей. Okay. So, uh, that, that is one of the pictures that have been uh, much better quality than the... Това е снимката uh, с доста добро качество. Than the first X-rays. The X-rays don't show this detail. След третата, как се казва това, радио... Екис. Да, yeah, I know that. I don't know the word in Bulgarian. <laughs> the, the quality is better. The quality... Качеството е по-добро, да. На тази yeah. снимка. Because... The Ministry of Culture and uh, some uh, на културата and some archaeologists и някои археолози uh, okay, uh, and medical anthropologists и uh, антрополози physical anthropologists I'm sorry well anyhow they say that these were cut cutting pieces of creatures and then putting them together и казаха, че uh, всички тези Части от тялото са били накълцани и после са били съединени. 
which is true in some of the samples. It is true. Което some... е истина, но за само малка част от тези моми. But other samples don't show this cut and paste. And... Но другите, uh, на другите моми няма, няма, нели, uh, няма такива uh, доказателства, че са били нарязани и съединявани. So, we don't know what they are. Не, всъщност не знаем какви са. They could be uh, unknown species. Може да са някакви непознати същества. They could be hybrids between human and extraterrestrial. Може да са някакви хибриди между хора, човеш, чов, хора и извънземни. Yeah, we don't know what they are. Не, не знаем точно какви са. Any, uh, някакви въпроси? Ами въпроси, то разказ е доста интересен. А, то как, как да кажа? А, той, той сам го каза, Джорджо, че то трябва допълнителни изследвания за всички Everything тези. Everything is very interesting, but probably uh, have to be done more uh, research. Yes, we want, I am in favor of more research. But uh, many people in Peru, they want to take, they want to take the, 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 the samples, they want to take the bodies. And, because they are sure these are all fake. Especially the archaeologists and many experts in mummy, mummyologists. Много археолози и специалисти по муми. Why? Because they are tired of the... Те са изморени от да слушат. Criminal people, вакерости. Да слушат изказвания от криминални хора, които занимават с криминални дейности. Making money with archaeological pieces от всякакъв вид в кавички археологически артефакти. So there's a strong anti-research attitude. Има много силна анти-проучвателна кампания срещу тези муми. They want to, I don't know how to say this in English, like decommission, take it away from the university. But don't they want to examine these things? Some people want to examine and some people say, oh, this is obviously a fake. I want to take it away. Някои от тези групи хора наистина искат да бъдат изследвани, други пък не искат. Искат да бъдат... Да се спрат дискусиите около това. Because much of the Peruvian... Uh, History and uh, uh, and other beings from the past, uh, the mummies are being desecrated. They're desecrated, violated. Са били преследвани, оказано име някакво влияние. Yeah. So like... there's the, the archaeologists have this this idea that if it comes from a waquero, you know, it should, it should not, they should not be the people um, providing the samples. Yeah. So, the, but the law, the law, um, defends the university up to a point. There's a university law they they have the right to keep the bodies inside the university. Университета на ИКА те искат да запазят тези муми. Yeah. All right. Uh, ако няма въпроси, можем да приключваме това видео. I said if you don't have any questions we can uh, overing that video. I just have one question. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm asking too many questions, I guess. 
uh, <laughs> curiosity killed the cat, you know. So <laughs> uh, my question is connected to the previous topic about the, the, contact, the contact with the UFOs. Uh, there, is a, there is a question that bothers me over the years. Why uh, representatives of other civilizations seek contact with ordinary and random people? What is the point in this? Um, I still fail to find the answer of this question. Нещо не мога да намеря отговор на въпроса ми защо извън земите отбират с кого да си да правят контакти. Why they contact common people and not powerful people, influential people? Something like that. Or scientists at least. Защо, например, извън земите не се срещнат с важни хора от политическо ниво или учени? Учени. When they contact a scientist, the scientist risks his uh, professional standing. I also ask myself these questions. I only have some hypotheses as answers. Apparently, they don't want, I mean, these extraterrestrial beings, they don't want to impose a, a change of mind and evolution in, in the culture. They want us to spontaneously become interested. interest. Yeah, spontaneously become interested without be having to believe. So it's a it's a longer process. But the process is also now. Usually uh ordinary person has a easier time talking about this with his friends, family. Обикновено такива обикновени хора, ако видят нещо, те го споделят с приятели, с семейството си. When uh, this uh, presidential candidate, uh, Kucin, Denis Kucinich, spoke about a UFO sighting. Kucinich, Denis Kucinich he spoke about his UFO sighting. He's rating his position in, in, in the presidential uh, race. <laughs> yes, and so I think that between those two factors, that's, that's why we get uh, factor. Eh? Yeah, they want people to spontaneously recognize, think. Yeah. But remember that now the American go- the North American government, right? No, спомнете си че американския американското правителство admitting officially the UFO phenomenon. Спомена официално за едно феномена. Yes, yes. Indeed. And also admitting that it is uh, unknown in, in with intelligent и също каза, че това е, това е някакъв непознат разум като характеристика. And possibly not Russian or Chinese. И вероятно не са не, нито руски, нито китайски продукти. Yeah. This is a great step forward indeed. Yeah, for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> But we should be very careful not to allow them to just consider everything from a national security military perspective. No, ние не трябва да свързваме този феномен с да се оправдаваме, че това е въпрос на национална сигурност или нещо подобно. Окей. Anything else? Нещо друго? I may make a, just a short comment uh, on a, about the, 
because of uh, my experience of uh, it's uh, all the evidence all the um, events which uh, appears in the uh, in the media in the in, in 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 and uh, it's pushing in one direction to get us involved in the process and it's a spiritual process which we ne, have to be aware otherwise it's uh, just uh, like a, a show which we are not uh, present so we are like uh, witnessing uh, just another movie no yes exactly it's a part of it's a part of our uh, interaction uh, like a species so we can uh, involve uh, very close наш интерес като човешки същества към всички тези феномени всъщност поправя проправя един нов път and it's uh, and it cannot be separate it's like uh, we, we cannot see us like uh, something separate it's a uh, like uh, we are one uh, Yes, because there's a difference between different, a normal natural phenomenon that are very uh, classical, classical, Newtonian, right? Okay, physical, normal, and contact. Contact, contact is like a fusion to become part of a greater reality. Contact is something like a fire, or a power, or an energy to the future. Yeah, but classical phenomena, you are here, you are here, you interact. We are here, 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 we are here. Sometimes we cooperate, sometimes we fight, Понякога ние се сътрудничим, понякога ние спорим. But contact is fusion. Yes. In telepathy fusion, you, yes. Can, you can experience this with, with these beings. No. Da. It's, uh, it's on, the, on the conscious level. It's like... Uh, 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 it's uh, synchronicity and harmony through uh, thought, emotions and... Пълен uh, синхрон на емоция и на съзнание. Yes, so it requires a growing up massively, exactly. massively, very big growing up of our consciousness, yes. our awareness. Ние трябва да повишаваме нашето съзнание, да растем духовно. And our culture and science. Нашата според културата и знанието ни. And it's very important through, through the heart because the heart has this uh, cold... Uh, this uh, pure uh, natural codes which uh, allow us to uh, synchronize and uh, harmonize the, uh, the natural process of growth spiritually. Yes, many times the contacts, they, uh, you cannot understand the concept. No. The extraterrestrial concepts are very complex. Advanced, very advanced. But in the heart, with the feeling, and you understand each other through the feeling. Yeah, so it's, it is very important, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> uh, I would like to thank you, Giorgio. Um, you're a super cool man, and I'm so happy to know you. And uh, I'm very thankful to be with us, with these Bulgarians. Um, so now you don't know only me, you know more Bulgarians. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, yeah, thank very you pleased for the opportunity. opportunity. Yeah, next year. I'm planning to have another conference and Giorgio will be special guest uh, with uh, Professor um, Roger 
from the Ica University and uh, another people from Peru also who are going to participate. And that will be amazing time to make these connections, even contact with extraterrestrial life. <laughs> so be it. Can, so I, be it. can I ask you, Georgia, to uh, say your um, uh, prayer in Sanskrit? Om Bur Bhuba Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimai Dio Yona Prachodayat Om Tat Sat Om Tat Sat Namaste Namaste <laughs> Thank you very much again, Giorgio, and thank you for all these Bulgarians who is, uh, have an open mind and I believe in the future, uh, much more Bulgarians will be, um, will be ready for the contact individually. Thank you very much. Yeah, and thank you for thank you. Um, thank you. United Network of Bulgarian Ophologists, if I say correctly. <laughs> Okay, ciao again for everybody. Ciao, Ivan. Ciao, everybody. Ciao. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Um, first